<laughs> Nailed it! Now what I do is I try to get in a room with about 150 hedgehogs. Uh, I get in the middle and the, the, backs, the, the, the backs of hedgehogs are very spiky and I try to step on as many hedgehogs as I can to really get myself emotionally in a place of feeling hurt and excitement. And then I go in and record. Uh, I just hug, I lay around with hedgehogs. It's a big part of my process. It costs roughly a million dollars per day, but listen, it's paramount, baby, we got the money. And so uh, that's kind of like how I get into the character, stuff like that. I knew when I got the call to do this movie that Sonic was a game. <laughs> I think I had played it once or twice, and after I got the call, I started playing it with my grandson who humiliated me constantly. And these games have turned kids into jet pilots. I mean, they're quick and uh, their reflexes are awesome. He's nine years old and he trash talks me. I, I, I get angry, I put money in the swear jar. I'm actually a lot like Robotnik <laughs> when we play. I think the story we're telling is, is a really cool one because it takes this iconic video game character and, and puts him into a real world, puts him here on Earth with us. And um, there's, there's elements of Superman in there. There's a really nice element of, um, you know, this, this superhero, I guess, if you will. Living in the shadows, um, ob observing uh, in a very um, kind of pure and, and sweet way. Sonic, I know you got the super speed and everything, but Maddie and I, totally defenseless, probably gonna get blown up. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Don't worry, I know exactly what to do. I was so excited to be a part of the property at all. Like I played Sonic as a kid. I'm a huge video game enthusiast. So I was like, of course. And the idea was just to do this thing. And, you know, they would hopefully sell it to a studio or whatever. And uh, that was where it was gonna end. But I was so excited just to do that. And I guess it went well enough where um, Tom Hanks wasn't available and I got to play Sonic the Hedgehog. It was very, very exciting. I remember getting the phone call from Jeff when he said, no, we want you for the movie now. And I did one of these, yeah, when I was by myself walking down. <laughs> Yeah, it was very exciting. The wonderful thing about Robotnik is he is analogous to a lot of the insane ego that's running us. Robotnik is a little tiny piece of nothing in his own mind, and he's blown himself into gigantuan proportions. He is as smart as heck, you know? He is the smartest one in the room. But there's, a, there's smart, and then there's spiritually dumb. You know? And uh, I'm sure you could take a lot of the smartest people and, and put them in a room, and when it comes to life, they can't carry water. He's a wonderful character to play. And uh, of course, he's a 300 IQ, so it took me a week and a half to prepare. And it, all it really comes down to is he wants to be special to somebody, you know? Only it's gone megalomania for him. He wants to be special to everyone. In fact, he wants to be the king of everyone. And another thing he really, really wants is to be able to get a latte the way he wants it. With Austrian goat's milk. All right, get in the truck. Really? You're gonna help me? I guess it is a little bit my fault that all this is happening to you. Not a little bit, entirely. It is entirely your okay, fault. It's entirely my fault. Are you coming? Yes. It is a joy to be on the receiving end of all of Jim's antics. I know you're supposed to say in these things that working with this person is like a dream and that's your, your hero. They say don't meet your heroes, and this one, like, no. I'm, I'm glad I got to meet my hero. To be looking at him in the eye when he's shouting at you, <laughs> uh, spitting in your face, throwing himself on the floor, it's vintage Jim Carrey, and. It's such a joy to watch. It's very exciting to uh, see him do that type of comedy that, I mean, he's always been funny, and even even like, I think his dramatic roles are incredible, but it's just a, it's such an interesting feeling when you see him do the things that made you, you know, like love comedy as a kid, and see him like reinventing that and playing with that again, it's just incredibly exciting. I, I do think it's a collective thing, and the more fun you generate on that set, the more fun comes through the camera and, and uh, arrests the people who are watching. So there are themes in it that are kind of interesting and serious in a way, but to me, a movie like this is silly fun. I think one of the things that the movie does really well is that it gives you heart in Sonic and you care about the stakes that are happening. It's kind of like this kid that doesn't really have a place to call home and finally, I guess without giving out too much of the movie, finally finding his place a little bit in this world and then it being stripped away from him. It's such a story where you see heartbreak within within Sonic, right? You, so you feel for him. It's not just cotton candy, joke, 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 joke. So I think it'll be really exciting. And I think people who like Sonic the Hedgehog 
will enjoy this. This is uh, it. This is what it takes to, for me to turn into a hedgehog. This is how valuable your expressions are. Yeah, ask me to do an expression. Um, uh, blissful. <laughs> Give me one more. That's pretty good. We'll, we'll roll camera so we get sure? it right. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I'm confused. trying to get him to start Confused? Easy. Yeah. Yeah.